Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the tactical trader at thetactical.com. It's Tuesday, June the 25th. And these are the charts of the day. Let's uh, talk about the markets today. Interesting, late comeback, and uh, but we're right at resistance. And if we don't punch through here, we have more to go to the downside. But there's always stocks running. Let's take a look at my list for today. RGS was one of our better day trades we've had in a while. Take a look at this move. We caught it early. When it popped right there, around the five and three quarters, it ran up into the high teens, pulled back, and then went to the low 20s, eventually reaching 24 and a quarter before pulling back after hours. Still, looking at the daily chart, a monster explosive move on 57 million shares um, has taken it back up to a resistance level near 28. That would be the follow through target if we get one. NVX also making a really nice move. Exploded through resistance today with a pop from 12 to 17, finished 16.15 up 4.11. 34% pop, only 34.9 million share traded, and it closed above resistance. This might very well extend. $19 is your next target. NNE, with a monster move in the last week and a half, has taken it all the way from 7, believe it or not, to 37, and then back to up to 31. This is a over, overbought, over uh, extended stock with a phenomenal chart. If it settles down and consolidates, it might very well extend. ZIMB, explosive turnaround, only 2.2 million. It's a shipping stock, excuse me, it's a, a medical device company that is fairly thinly traded. You can see the reason I pointed out today was after going from November to February when it was trading in the six range all the way up into the 20 range, <clears throat> and then pulled back and consolidated for six months. But today, a big reversal bar and a move of 346 or 23%. Um, volume was big for this stock, 2.2 million. And now I'm looking for a retest of the February high at 20 and three quarters. MVIA, beautiful explosive move in April and then a long two month falling wedge. Finally broke out a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and it was trading at about a buck. Subsequently, more than tripled, nearly quadrupled. Today's high 396 and the low two weeks ago was 102. So big move, but after the big run up to resistance and a little bit of a platform and a two-day consolidation, today it's, it moved again and jumped another 15.5%. Low volume, though, it's thin. We may very well get an extension that takes this one up to five, five and a quarter. HUT breaks out of a base, punches through key resistance, now headed for 18, my next target. LSF, tech trader swing with a big day today, spiked 93 cents or 22 percent, 443,000 shares traded, it's thinly traded. But this just looks like the kind of stock it's going to be an $89 stock. WULF broke out a week and a half ago, we talked about it, and then came down and retested, held the gap, held support, it's popped up today, 14 and a half percent or 61 cents. Right now, having broken through everything and at the highest level since 22, probably looking at a move to test um, about the six and a quarter range. SMR, the new scale has been really phenomenal the last four or five months, but in particular the last two months, it's gone from five and a quarter to 11. Um, today's pop of 91 cents or 9% has it at resistance from the spike high in March. We get through here, we're looking at mid-teens. <clears throat> CCL with a big earnings report spiked up and went from uh, 1583 to 1801. Uh, traded at 17.78 after hours up 139 and 8.5% gain. 111 million shares. This is huge volume even for them. Next target, 1920 zone. Credo popped out of a flag, it appears, but it didn't quite get out. It didn't run, run um, 247 or 9%, and it traded a couple million shares. We get through here, we're looking at mid 30s. Rivian, well, probably the best swing trade I ever made. <laughs> Since I put a swing on it today at 11.74, and after hours it traded up to 18.88 on, on a deal with Volkswagen. Now I give it to you because of the inverse head and shoulders, and the neckline was being broken. Now looking for an extension that maybe tests 19 and a half, and eventually 24. Chewy, big move lately after the breakaway gap. I believe on earnings, the stock's now been chugging along with a move of another 325 or 12 percent today. And it's at the highest level since August of last year. My next target will be retested 34.5. Carvana, 
I warned you a few days ago it might be coming out of that flag, and it did. Today it popped 861 or 7.2%. It's at an all-time closing high. And at this point, not all-time, but multi-year closing high. And you can see that the next target I have is 175. And that is it for the charts of the day tonight, folks. This is HP signing off. Have a great evening. Bye now. Bye now.